in every election whether you are the ruling party or you are in the opposition what is important for the voter is to assess the performance of the outgoing government of the incumbent government based on the promises made in the manifesto that's only too normal in a democracy and the track record of the government of the incumbent government in the last 5 years what have they done what have they not done what is it that they should not have done so i was driving down from guwahati to shillong and i saw some hoardings of the bjp saying that we need to free shillong meghalaya from corruption from a corrupt government i was i asked i called up matthew matthew am i wrong when i say that bjp was a part of this government he said no the of course they were so imagine the bjp also finds the mda corrupt can you imagine self certification we are corrupt actually that's what they are saying we are corrupt so we've done some research not much effort required because every single citizen of this beautiful state knows what we are about to say they are aware of what what went wrong everybody knows that the temple of democracy which is the assembly how the dome fell who doesn't know about the dome and it's a sad commentary that the kind of corruption that went into the allotment of tender of this assembly assembly when i repeat it's it's the temple the church of democracy in that you were found to be corrupt and it has never happened in the history of this country where you give a tender a contract to one bidder denying the other two bidders that sorry you are not experienced you cannot construct a dome therefore we cannot give you the tender guess who gets the final subcontract those two companies which were denied the original contract and they were denied because they had no experience in constructing a dome they are get, they end up getting the work obviously the dome the dome had to fall they were not experienced and the officer who was responsible for this is now contesting elections it's a textbook case i think after the elections netflix will come up with a a very entertaining serial on this unfortunately it will be tragic it won't even be comic but that's that's the kind of government meghalaya has experienced for the last 5 years so that very officer is now contesting as the npp candidate from north shillong look at the cheek look at the shamelessness in hindi they say ek to chori upar se seena jori he is proud to be a thief obviously he is not the only one obviously he has the blessings of someone who is that someone everyone knows the answer so i won't go into the details of the companies in the press release you will have all the details of these two companies uh, who were given the subcontract of the dome i would also not go into the figures because that's a very boring longish press uh, conference so but the figures are also in the press release covid was something which all of us the entire country suffered from but some parts of the country suffered from a double whammy there was covid and there was corrupt governments which were handling covid man covid this man in meghalaya there were 96785 covid cases and 816 crore was spent uh 1624 deaths so ex gratia payment was 816 crore manipur spent just a little over 100 crores for 1.4 lakh cases of covid and 2149 deaths just a comparison 
सी वे वे मेघालय स्टैंड्स सो मेघालय कोविड एक्सपेंडिचर वॉज एट टाइम्स मोर देन दैट ऑफ मणिपुर एंड इवन इट हैड मच लेसर कोविड केसेस एंड डेथ वेर इज द मनी गॉन everybody wants to know the answer where is that money gone so 119.73 crore being released by the center the discrepancy is of 43.73 crores where is that money gone who has pocketed that money again the director of health services who should have been held accountable for this discrepancy is also contesting election look at the joke he is the udp candidate from shillong north who's who's the one behind all these people first they use these officers for corrupt practices then they protect those officers then they get them to resign and get them in their own fold come fight elections together we'll do more corruption you were on the other side of the table now you come on this side of the table so the players will keep changing interchanging under the table things will keep going on and meghalaya will keep suffering why when will it all stop this must stop the third charge in our charge meghalaya urban development authority scam 500 crores was given to the to muda no utilization certificate has been given and no one knows where that money was spent this was for the development of the city where is the development where is the 500 crore rupees where is the utilization certificate where is the accountability <coughs> and these are not small numbers this could have transformed the city mega shopping complex at meghalaya transport corporation yeah jail road then it is also under the scanner the government intends to spend more than 200 crores in a plot land measuring less than 50000 square feet numbers speak for themselves it smacks of corruption massive brazen shameless corruption now a senior bjp leader and former minister al hek whose party was an alliance partner of this government has also castigated the mda government for spending such a huge sum of money for a shopping center as i said within their own family they are accusing each other this is the state of affairs you all covered the coal scam the illegal mining and transportation of coal the meghalaya high court in 2022 had appointed that uh, justice bp katake committee uh, retired judge of the guwahati high court and in his report he has stated 13 lakh metric tons of coal was illegally mined 13 lakh metric ton mind boggling thing the report has been very scathing in its observation but tell me if any head roll was anyone punished was anybody held accountable what happened you can't put such a beautiful state to shame because of some corrupt leaders 650 crores that's the kind of scam we are talking about in this illegal mining and transportation of coal 650 crores now we come to the sobhagya scam the cag rarely speaks these days after 2014 we haven't heard much from the cag suddenly everybody is quiet but in the 2021 audit report the cag exposed a scam of 149 crores in the state power department a daily firm was uh, given a turnkey project there is an accusation that there was undue favor given to that firm the irregularities in the power department include implementation of various projects which were 
commissioned from the ADB funds, the metering project, the smart metering project. The rice can, rice which was meant for the poor, which should have ideally gone for the PDS beneficiaries, was found in Assam. It was taken away. 50 lakh, 50 lakh uh, kilo. Yeah. Can you imagine the kind of cruel people who would rob from the poor? Who does that? So even when I, when I'm talking about it, my blood boils. I'm sure your blood boils too. I'm sure the blood of every single voter of Meghalaya is boiling right now. How can you rob from the poor? And this is taxpayers' money. You and I pay from our taxes so that the poor can be fed. That rice was smuggled for, for the open market. We all know about the cartelization which took place in the IMFL business, how the prices were manipulated. This was in 2019 when the cartel was formed. A lot has been spoken about it, written about it. Then we have heard about the casino scam. How nepotism and favoritism, there, has, there have been charges of nepotism in how these three uh, licenses that were given. The church and other activists organization opposed the move, claiming that you cannot legitimize or legalized gambling. Then the government scrapped opening of these casinos. But the intention of the government came out very clear. Corruption with no regard to the social fabric of the state. No regard whatsoever. The there are two families, <coughs> two ministers. Everyone knows their name. I'll name the name of the company and you'll know who I'm talking about. The Dhar Construction Company. Who doesn't know about the Dhar Construction Company? Again, nowhere in the country you will see two people, ministers in the government, own a company in their own name and they get all the contracts, most of the important construction contracts, road construction contracts, other contracts, government contracts for their company. Nowhere will you see this level of brazenness, this level of shamelessness in corruption. There is corruption in other parts of the country. I am not saying there is no corruption in other parts of the country. But this brazenness is unknown in other parts of the country. We have heard about the police purchase scam and when I am reading, this is my 10th charge that we are reading. Believe me, there are hundreds of them. And it took us a lot of effort in shortlisting because each one of the scam was bigger than the previous one. But then we had to be brief, therefore we've only chosen 10 scams. So in the police purchase scam, uh, November 2, 2022, uh, an AIG was arrested, we all know about it by the CID in connection with this mismanagement of procurement of vehicles. Friends, in five years, there is only one chance people get to punish a, a government which has so shamelessly indulged into the corruption, this kind of corruption. This opportunity will not come back till 2028. If you miss the opportunity now, you not only reward the corrupt, you encourage them to further indulge into corruption. Do we want that? I don't want to comment on the one gentleman who is the Brutus now. Mamta ji will understand who I am talking about. If she doesn't understand, she will understand in a few months or years. If he could do this to us, he will definitely do it to her also. We have all seen Team A, Team B, Team C, Team D, we, everybody is aware of who is acting on whose behalf. 
today some somebody met me outside said this time a lot of senior congress leaders are coming to meghalaya why i said because we are winning we are coming here because we are absolutely confident of forming the next government in meghalaya and ridding meghalaya of the corrupt mda government meghalaya can see through the collusion the unholy alliance some alliances are visible some <coughs> alliances are not visible meghalaya wants to vote for a five star meghalaya meghalaya wants to vote for these five commitments made by the congress party meghalaya is absolutely <coughs> confident that the times are changing for the state and they're changing for the better the times will change when the government changes <coughs> we promise you that within the first 100 days we will deliver on our promises i have a small anecdote here which you'll find very interesting in 2018 the congress party won rajasthan madhya pradesh and chatisgarh and i repeat this example wherever i go because this is the example why people like me are in the congress mr rahul gandhi along with senior leaders mr rahul gandhi was congress president in 2018 came to jaipur for the oath taking ceremony of mr gehlot went to madhya pradesh for mr kamalna and then went to chatisgarh for mr baghel by the time his plane landed in delhi on that evening of a december day i'm forgetting the date now all the three governments had called the first cabinet meeting signed the file for loan waiver of farmers all the three governments before the sun set before rahul gandhi returned to delhi the promises made to the voters of these three states were honored that's the kind of commitment and we have stopped calling it a manifesto in hindi we call it the sankalp patra now we are determined to deliver so this chart sheet in your left hand and in your right hand keep our five commitments and then vote for the congress we are very confident that we will win thank you your questions please I believe that uh, all opposition mlas have joined uh, the npp because uh, they first they support the mda government uh, and its uh, achievement and second because they know that the mda is coming back to power what do you have to say he should first put his hand on his heart before he says anything before he opens his mouth his hand should be here and he should be able to look straight into your eyes if he can do that it's a challenge he can't then we'll enter into a conversation with him otherwise i don't have any comment to make on him his days are numbered uh, the, we have seen the you have uh, today come up with the chart sheet that we have made but we have seen the the reports of the inquiry committees that uh, you know have been set up uh, to probe into these uh, irregularities we have seen the most of these uh, inquiry uh, reports they have come up with a clean sheet uh, uh, you know uh, against the government so what do you have to say you can't be the judge jury and executioner we from the congress party give a word of honor to every single voter of meghalaya when we come to power we ensure that the guilty are brought to book justice will be delivered people will be convinced that what the congress has said congress meant it people who robbed the people of meghalaya won't go scot free that's the word of honor how do how will you prove the chashit that you have Uh, level against this government how will you prove that most of the 10 points in fact every single point in this chart sheet which as i said in the past these are only 10 but there are hundreds of charges every single point here is well known not just to the media fraternity to the people of meghalaya but justice is not done through press conferences justice is done through a process of law which we follow and you will see justice as being delivered we look fire against the government whatever needs to be done will be done and the guilty will be punished
You told somebody so Brutus. Brutus. You tell us who is that Brutus. Everyone knows. Now, in fact, Brutus is known by another name, Ukut Sangma. That's his name. Now, people say, oh, no, nobody says Brutus as Brutus. Brutus has been renamed as Sangma, Mukut Sangma. What harm has he done to you? Sorry? What harm has he done to you? You what? read the history of Brutus and you will see the harm done by Brutus. So, I listen to your, your ranting against the ruling tradition. I like the choice of words. <laughs> well, I'm surprised that uh, the Congress, all those years, have not gone to the court of law or have not filed an FIR. We are a political party, my friend. We know how to fight. But you were in the opposition. Yes. Then. We will fight our battles politically first. If we fail in political battles, of course, we have the court of law to go to. But as a political party, our first priority is to fight political battles in a political manner. That's what we are doing. And we'll Don't win. you think we have already failed? No, we haven't. No, we haven't. You'll see. Because the same people have, have left, I mean, who were with uh, you all. 18 of them, 12 have joined uh, the team. I won't comment on those who have left. I have already commented on them. But my limited understanding is that when times are tough, when there is a time for and a need for struggle, the weak hearted leave, the strong hearted fight. You can see a lot of strong hearted Congress men and women fighting. Believe me, they'll win. In whom are Congress are fighting in India? Against the corrupt governments, because the MDA. So many parties there. The MDA. See, on that po on particular point, you look at the vote share of Congress in the last elections, 28.5%. And uh, if you look at a few individuals who have left the party, that doesn't mean that the entire organization has left with them. And you will see that reflected in this coming election, where we retain 28.5% or even more, which is coming because we have got NCP people joining us, which was around 1.5% last time. And we see an increased participation from the rest of the people also. That's what our internal reports are giving a good 42 plus kind of a, uh, prospects in the coming election to this come across. This should have been another press conference. Yeah. You shouldn't believe. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Will be getting the majority. We are forming the government. In post poll, no party getting majority. Congress that party means... is absolutely sure of getting the majority and forming the government. One of your former enemies. Uh, who is also the opposition chief whip, uh, Bar George Lindor. He has alleged that the Congress uh, has a tacit uh, understanding with the NDP. No, our only clear, visible understanding is with the people of Meghalaya. There is nothing tacit, invisible about the way we do our politics. Our politics is very clear, black and white, absolutely clear, crystal clear. Thank <laughs> you.